I am John, and tonight I want answers about Kyle Rittenhouse and Native American Heritage Day. There's no stopping us now because we're live. I'm John Thompson. I'm John A. Vink. I'm Keith Statenfield. I'm Loretta Beavers. I'm AJ Minnick. I'm Jennifer Sim. I'm Jim Too. I'm Bobby Chastain. These stories tonight on John Wants Answers. John wants answers. John wants answers. Give John answers. John wants answers. Give John answers now. Check your calendars. It's November 18th, 2021. And tonight we have a special correspondent live from Wisconsin, Keith Statenfield. Keith, are you there? Yes. Yes, I'm here. I've been here all week. All right. So you're there reporting on the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict. Has uh, there... No, I'm here. I'm here taking care of my mother. But sure. Yeah, this Kyle thing is happening. I'm, I'm here for you, man. Are you in a safe location? I am. Yes. Good. It's very safe. Are you expecting any riots? Um, here? No. Are you expecting riots in Kenosha? I, I, I do think there are going to be some riots. Do you think there'll be riots if Kyle Rittenhouse is convicted or acquitted or both? I think there will be riots either way. Will be the same people rioting? I, I, on both sides? I think for the most part, there will be different people rioting depending on the verdict that comes down. It's possible that a verdict will come down that each side will think is riot worthy and therefore both sides will riot. Um, but my fear is that at least, and, and then I think there are some people that are going to riot regardless. It's a but prime I, looting opportunity, you think? Uh, let's hope not. But I do think there will be people demonstrating and being upset so that's, from that's one side mind. or the other side uh, after the verdict uh, is eventually released. So let's remind our viewers, um, what is Kyle Rittenhouse uh, accused of? Uh, I believe he is facing uh, still five or six charges. I'm not entirely clear because they did add some. The judge added some at the end. Um, uh, he is accused of uh, reckless homicide. Uh, he's accused of intentional homicide. Um, he's accused of attempted homicide, I think. And then many of those have a, uh, you were using a gun when you did it modifier. Um, I think originally he was charged with violating curfew. I think that charge got thrown out. Um, I think he was charged with possessing uh, AR-15 uh, while being underage. I think that charge was also thrown out. Um, and then I think the judge added some lesser uh, charges like uh, unintentional homicide and or like reckless endangerment or various things that don't rise to the level of uh, intentional or reckless homicide, but are still things you can convict someone for. Are all parties in agreement that he did kill people? Uh, I think everyone agrees that, uh, that Rittenhauer, uh, uh, Rittenhauer, right? Rittenhouse? Rittenhouse, Rittenhouse killed people, yes. So what is his defense from these murder charges? Um, uh, primarily, I believe his defense, I believe his defense in court is that he was engaged in self-defense, that the people that he shot uh, and uh, who died and the people that he shot who were wounded, and I think there's a charge for shooting and missing someone, but I don't remember in particular. Um, uh, 
I believe his defense essentially is that he was defending himself in a dangerous situation and that the people he was shooting were intending to do him grave bodily harm. And so he uh, used his weapon to defend himself. Did the people that he said were trying to harm him, did they also have firearms? Uh, I think one of the people he was, I think one of the people he's accused of shooting, and I think the only person he's accused of shooting and not killing, uh, who he, I think he like shot his arm and uh, destroyed his muscle or something. Uh, I think that person had a handgun I don't recall from the trial whether that handgun uh, was drawn or not. Uh, the other people are not accused of having guns. Um, they are accused of uh, what has been said that they were chasing uh, Kyle or that they swung uh, other weapons at him. I think one person was on a skateboard and is said to have, you know, tried to swing the skateboard uh, at Ritten. Oh, I can't remember his name. Uh, Rittenhouse. Mm -hmm. um, and it's all part of an evening of back and forth in a uh, protest uh, after a different uh, black uh, Canadian or black Kenosha citizen a few days earlier uh, had been uh, shot and paralyzed uh, from the waist down by a police officer uh, during uh, an arrest attempt. And so the fallout from that is there were uh, protests in the city of Kenosha against the police for not treating uh, black citizens correctly. And those protests uh, spiraled and there was rioting, there was looting by some number of people uh, over a few days and then um, uh, other people including uh, Rittenhouse came into the city to protect businesses uh, mm -hmm. from the rioting and the looting that was happening so they formed essentially citizen militias and took up placements around the city. So Rittenhouse then, is not from Kenosha? Uh, he is from Illinois. That's a different state, correct? That's entirely correct. Uh, you you get your citizenship gold star here. So Kenosha is in do Wisconsin. You know, do you know what the capital of Illinois is? Is Chicago the right answer? It is not, no. Yeah, you do not get a second gold star. That was not on the test. No, no it wasn't. No, I've, I've seen the test. It's very easy. It's very easy. They give you all the answers, you know. Uh, yes, that's one of the reasons it's very easy. Um, so the verdict, um, th we're expecting it any day now, I suppose. How many days have the, has the jury been deliberating? Uh, I think they've had three uh, full days of deliberation now. And there's and, no telling how long this would take, right? Uh, I don't believe the juries don't have a timetable. Um, Are they being put up in a nice hotel? And would that uh, influence how long it I takes wouldn't, them? I wouldn't know how to answer that because the where the jurors are staying and how they get to the courthouse and stuff is being kept secret mm -hmm. because they don't want them harassed by anyone. There's news today that MSNBC got in trouble for sending a guy to follow the bus uh, of jurors. Uh, there's news that someone who had occasionally sold stories to MSNBC is uh, also accused of following the bus that takes jurors from the courthouse to another location. Here's where I'm not quite sure whether the jurors are being put up in a hotel, whether they go home every night. Um, because that's very... I imagine they're being sequestered. Uh, I'm not sure if they are sequestered, though. Hmm. But they do get taken from the courthouse in a bus to another location. And if they're sequestered, the other location might be the hotel they're at. 
or it might be a place where they've all parked their cars and then they get in their cars and they drive home. Okay. And someone who has done stories on MSNBC is accused of trying to follow the bus and take pictures, but it's not clear if he was working for MSNBC. It's not entirely clear if he was trying to take pictures or if he was just driving in roughly the same direction. Right. All right, Keith, we'll keep us updated throughout the night on any updates on riots or verdicts. Although I imagine there'll be any more verdicts today. I, there will not be any more verdicts today. And I don't think there are going to be any riots today. It is very cold outside. How I mean, cold the is thing it? On, the thing about rioting is, it is, rioting is not a cold weather activity. How cold is it now in Wisconsin? Currently, uh, it was 31 degrees earlier when I checked. As and a Canadian, when I, I can have been tell outside, you, it's, it's nippy. As a Canadian, I can tell you that's not very cold. Angry Canadians well, will protest in that weather. Okay. You're, you're a hearty stock up there. Indeed. Um, I mean, I, I do think you get a nice hat on, you get some mittens. You could probably protest in the cold, but I think you'd be... You'd be a tad miserable. Yes. Uh, and reminder to our viewers, you can always tweet us at John Wants Answer, and we'll be taking your tweets a little later in the show. And uh, John Wants Answers is seen on great TV stations, like TV 99 for New Albany in North Mississippi. And now to our next topic. Did we get any notes? Keith, we got a note from our last episode when we did our little game called Reverse Jeopardy. Do you remember that little bit we did? I, no. The, the, this show, on the way home, all knowledge of all... I forget this show. I forget that I've done it. Okay. I stopped for donuts, and then I'm happy again. Last month, we did a little segment I called Reverse Jeopardy. And that is, as you know, the TV show Jeopardy that gives you an answer, and it's your job to come up with a question that matches the answer. And I thought, let's say you're at a party. Let's say you're at a Native American Heritage Day party, and you ask one of these questions to a party goer. Sure. Um, so let's say, let's say you ask. This is a very specific premise. Yeah, just setting a scene here for you. And I said to a party goer like you, I said, hey, Keith. What is North Carolina? And you answered with, most of Virginia's southern border lies along this state. Well, technically true, this seems like a useless description of what North Carolina is. And this, that's the point I was making. And then we got, we got feedback. We got a note. Wow. We got a note from Wait, 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 wait. wait. Is, it, is it angry feedback? It sounds pretty angry. Okay. Is it directed at me or at you? Me. Okay. Okay. We got a message on uh, on YouTube. It said, "Don't make fun wow. of Jeopardy." Why are you nope. calling Jeopardy insane? It seems like you'd love it immensely because Jeopardy gives all the answers that you claim you want. Ridiculous, John. You have all the verbal integrity of a three-year-old. Also, I got a new wow. iPhone. Wow, that's, that's cutting. Stop being mean, stop being a bully. This is from Mary. So, first question. She says, I have the verbal integrity of a three-year-old. What age would you say I have the verbal integrity of? I think three is too low, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's... I mean, it's not far off, but it does seem low. Like three, like your your vocabulary at three is limited. Correct. Whereas your vocabulary is reasonable. I, I mean, like me, maybe maybe it's eight year old. Okay, sure. I just sure. want to make make sure that we weren't we weren't mocking no, wait, wait, an, an, an eight year old girl because their vocabulary is better. Oh, well, thank you. Like a ten year old boy. 
I'll take it. Okay. Um, just to be clear, though, we're not making fun of Jeopardy. Jeopardy is a beloved, popular show. Yeah. And we're just imagining this scenario that does not exist. Would you know? I, I I think it's more the case that you were trying not to get sued by Sony Entertainment, <laughs> comma, owners of Jeopardy, comma. Why would they sue me? Known known to file lawsuits against people that attempt to infringe upon the intellectual property. I just want to say that we Namely the. We the, love the, Jeopardy. Jeopardy is a fine, uh, fine we, we television show. Do love Jeopardy? I, I, as I said, I've met several Jeopardy contestants. Uh huh. You met Andy T. Wood, is that right? Uh, I'm not sure if I've ever met Andy, but I've spoken, I've emailed with him. I have gotten emails from Andy T. Wood. Yes, I'm pretty sure I've emailed him. Mm -hmm. And I've met and spoken with Glenn Fleischman, who is on Jeopardy. And I've like, met and spoken and emailed with Ken Jennings, who was on yeah. Jeopardy. There's a guy in my work at Nest who, uh, who was on Jeopardy. And I think I taped yeah, it. Yeah, there were one or two other people at Apple that I'm, I've been trying to think of the names of that have been on Jeopardy over the years. It turns out a lot of people from California are on Jeopardy because they make it in California. Yeah, although they do, if you make it, they pay to fly you out. Oh. Well, it'd be a short flight for us. Yeah, Another drive. Yeah, we probably, we'd probably drive. Yeah. All right. Our next topic, Native American Heritage Day. Okay. If you're just joining us, I'm talking with yeah. Keith Statenfield about Native American Heritage Day. Sure. So, this is going to be a very short segment. <clears throat> I was looking at my corporate calendar, which I can still see, even though I don't work at the corporation anymore. And it wow. says- Do they know this? Uh, I don't know. Like, like, is this, like, it's not secret. Like, we're not gonna get in trouble with another large corporation which enjoys suing people. I don't think Native American Heritage Day is a secret. But on our corporate calendar, the day after Thanksgiving was labeled Native American Heritage Day. And I had not seen or noticed this before. Are you familiar with Native American Heritage I, Day? I, I am not terribly familiar with Native American Heritage Day. So you don't know what it is? I don't think so. Is it a new holiday? Probably. I mean, it. I got to think so. Have I picked the wrong expert for this topic? You have. Yeah, yeah, I had... Like, you didn't actually email me the topic, so I, I no I, idea. No, no, I did email you this topic and these very questions I'm asking you. Besides, no, no, the question is, are you an expert? So you wouldn't know how it's observed. Um, leftover pie? <laughs> no, you have, sorry, I'm, I'm useless on this one. Do you have any Native American how, Heritage Day how, plans? How, how is it observed, John? I don't Maybe know. Maybe I should ask the questions. Hey, John. Hey, John, I want answers about Native American. Are we going to switch the here? This is now called Keith yeah. Wants Answers? Yeah, um, well, it's Keith Gets Answers. It's Keith Gets Answers. From what I could tell, George Bush, the old one, signed this into the, law during his tenure. So it would have been in the 90s, right? Like 89 to 93, sure. Okay. And so... It was supposed to be, I think, one time, but then they did it annually. And it's the day after Thanksgiving, which Native Americans call it the National Morning Day. Like morning, yeah, that's, like two. that's more of what I thought it was. Yeah. So the Native Americans, even though the Native American Gaming Society was in favor of this holiday, um, some Native Americans in general are against it. Because it falls on Black Friday, which is also a very consumer-driven holiday capitalist holiday so and i don't know how it's observed i don't know what we should be doing on this day i, I don't either like take out a native american for coffee i don't even think i know native american actually i do know native american i know a northern native american from alaska okay but i don't know anyone else 
you know any Native Americans? I, I have several friends that are at least significant parts, significant percentages of Native American ancestry. Is Elizabeth Warren, is she considered a Native American? No. And then, didn't she DNA test and she has like one 32nd? Yeah, a tiny fraction, yeah. which I don't think, I don't believe she considers herself Native American. Oh. Was which there, is the... Was there a time when she made that claim and then she went backwards no, on that? There was, there was a time when Ted Cruz said she made that claim. Did but she deny making the claim? She does, yeah. Oh. Okay. I mean, she says she is she is proud of her ancestry, but she was not raised in a home or family which knew she had any significant portion of Native American ancestry, and she has not said she is a Native American. There was a claim that you know she had filed to get scholarships and appointments as a Native American, and I think. They never could find any where she actually had done that. All right. Now we're going to read the tweets. Okay. We got a tweet. Did from, you get any tweets? We got a tweet from Keith Explains. Yeah, Keith Explains. And it says, Let's I'm live it. on John Wants Answer right now. Hi, John. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And that was, that did was we get tweets. any tweets? Uh, uh, we have I hoping, time. I was hoping someone else would tweet at you, John. I guess your followers aren't uh, into sending tweets. Yeah, or it's or it's eleven thirty at night for them too. Well, do you think all your followers are in Wisconsin? No, I think most of them are probably in California. Yeah, it's only nine thirty here. We're up and we're chipper. All right, here's a new segment. How many followers I have? Let's see, how many followers do I have? I have 104 followers. Wow. And none of them wanted to watch you? Well, one of them is me. So <laughs> you technically one of my followers did also tweet you. Well, it wasn't from you. It was from Keith Explains. Right, but I am a follower of Keith Explains, and I also tweeted you. You also tweeted me? There's no, no, no. no. I, I'm the one who typed the tweet from Keith Explains. Okay. So. You're making this more complicated than it should be. I am. Yeah, I'm killing time, John. We got six more minutes before credits can roll, and we have run out of topics. Well, I have one more topic here. Oh, good um, Lord. I called it the segment called Headlines. Headlines. So there was a, a headline I saw in the news. Self-driving Waymo cars gather in a San Francisco neighborhood confusing residents. Have yeah, you heard about I this? That. That, was, that was a crazy story. So apparently, so Waymo is Google's attempt at making self-driving cars. Sure. And I've, I've seen their cars driving around Mountain View all the time. Yeah. Have you seen them? Uh, I've, seen, I've seen them. They have like domes on top and they have like weird propellers on the side or something. I don't know what they are. Um, apparently, in San Francisco, a bunch of these, like every five minutes... One of these self-driving cars goes by this one, this dead-end street, gets to the end, makes a U-turn. And they yeah. have residents are seeing all these cars drive by. Yeah. Now, I talked to a person I know who works in Waymo. Who oh, wants you're, to, not gonna give, you're not going to give away any corporate secrets, are you? They want to remain anonymous, so I won't tell you who they are. Take, take memories, not data, John. <laughs> um, and they told me, not every Waymo car is going to that dead end street. Well, that's that's a comfort. So, there you go. Which means they must have a lot of cars driving around for every five minutes, one going by. Um, well, or I mean, if there's one Waymo car which doesn't do it, not every Waymo <laughs> car is doing it. I wonder if the the cars that should be driving around Mountain View are taking the long trip to San Francisco just to go to that street and. Just to like and visit turn around. It. Like we're gonna be like we're gonna be really funny if the robot cars found a religion based on that street. <laughs> now I've heard in the news today, I heard um, Apple is gonna release a self-driving car in 2025. And wow. I have like little faith in these self-driving cars if they're all going down dead end streets. 
What do you think? I'm still driving. I mean, I I don't even own a car. You don't even own a car. I don't own a car right now. What happened to your car? I sold my car. Oh. How do you get around places? Uh, We have to run his car. Okay. That's the director of the show, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. And a cute one. He's got purple hair. I I can I can see her right now. She's waving. Yeah. She's wearing a yeah. mask. She's a, yeah. She's a cute one. They let me take my mask off because I'm I'm on TV. Yeah, you're on TV, <laughs> and I'm I'm in my childhood bedroom by myself, so no mask needed. Tell me about the uh, what mask protocols have you seen there in Wisconsin? Um, masks are not required in many places. I'm wearing a mask most times when I'm out, but a lot of other people don't. Um, in the hospital, masks are required except when you're in a patient's room. I was driving across uh, Canada and the U.S. Uh, recently. Yeah. And in Canada, uh, to go indoors, like a restaurant, you must not only have a mask, but must show proof of vaccination. Wow. And uh, that was all through Canada. And as soon as I hit the U.S. of A, I went to uh, Ohio, there was mm-hmm. no mask instructions whatsoever. There's no one who's wearing masks yeah. anywhere. Yeah. So it was... Well, there, are, there are places in California that also require vaccination cards to go indoors. Doesn't I've been San to... San Francisco still require that? I've been to concerts in California where I had to show yeah. vaccination proof. Yeah, we've gone to events and provided both uh, and all the indoors we require... that where they tested us for COVID before we could go in and provide vaccination. And even, vaccination. even with uh, vaccination proof, you still need to wear masks mm-hmm. indoors. Mm-hmm. Do you feel safe in Wisconsin? Uh, I feel fairly safe because I have gotten the Moderna booster on top of my J&J vaccination, which I trust the science to be reasonably good. I'm wearing a mask to both protect me a little more and to protect anyone else in case I somehow develop breakthrough asymptomatic COVID. But I feel reasonably safe, yeah. I'm also not doing a lot of stuff Mm -hmm. out. I'm not eligible yet for the booster. I have to wait. No, you are. California made everyone eligible. But it has been less than six months since my last shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For that, you're not eligible. Right. But uh, in a week or two, I'll be there as soon as I can. As soon as I can. Which which team are you going to go for? I got Moderna for my first shots. So I heard I should stick with Moderna for the next one, too. Yeah, that's what they say. And then I'll be invincible. I would not rely on that. Okay. Um, I think cars are still dangerous. <laughs> Indeed. I heard that uh, mRNA uh, vaccines have been under development since the 80s. So it's not like we suddenly made this vaccine. It's, it's... Well, we did, we did suddenly make this vaccine. Yes, but it's based on 30-some years of research. So it's not yeah, like yeah. a brand new experiment, per se. No. Yeah. Well, well it's can been, I see credits? Do you I think, see credits? I see credits. I think we're, uh, they're trying to tell us to stop talking. It's yeah, been yeah. Uh, good talking to you, Keith. Stay safe and let us know if there's any riots. Oh, wait, wait. I got I to gotta go this. Yeah. Right. The music's over. I should have gotten a thing in the credits because you used my Zoom account. <laughs>